Dee Storytime. Today, I'm going to read you the story about a girl whose life sucked, and she hated everyone. I hate everything. See? Anyway, one day, the dictator pulled her aside and said... Guess what? What? You get to run for your life on TV for my interest. That sounds like the most fun thing. And the grand, and the grand prize is you get to bring a friend. The joke is on you because I don't have any friends. Too bad. She then grabbed a muff, a baker. We'll call him Muffin Man. Who are you calling Muffin Man? You. But I baked bread. Nobody cares. Everybody knows the Muffin Man. This is my partner. Yes. Really? Much. Much. Well, thanks for the model property. All right. Here we are. Yeah, and here's that other random dude we promised. Why am I even here? Don't talk back to me, Muffin Man. I still bake bread. No, you don't. You bake muffins now. They then caught on fire. Ah! <laughs> Drop and roll, kids. Hmm, that's catchy. The girl on fire. It is not catchy. It is painful. Okay, fine. We'll just call you Fire Girl. That's not any better. Deal with it. And then a bunch of random kids entered. Thanks for making an appearance, extras. Now, fighters ready? Fight! <laughs> then Muffin Man got sick. Say hi to your lunch, Muffin Man. Why? Really? This greatly inconvenienced the fire girl. Come on, you can't be sick right now. Yes, I have to. She then healed him. Be healed. I have been healed. Let's get a move on, Drama King. Ah, oh, but why? Suddenly, the game director sent mutants after them. Wow. Mutants. I don't know about you, but I feel like running to death. Same. Then they climbed the rock. That looks exhausting. It is. Hmm. However, there's a large jerk on the rock. Oh, come on. Uh, I'm sorry, but in case you haven't noticed, I'm getting at the mountain here. Great, a large jerk. Who are you calling a jerk? Hey, that jerk, right behind you. Well, I guess I'm gonna have to fight you now. We really don't have to fight him. But we do, though. Whose side are you on? Fight! I said fight! Uh. Ah. And the mutants dismembered the jerk. You didn't need to die. Shut up, Muffin Man. It's bright! Not anymore. Uh -huh. <laughs> they suddenly felt very hungry. I'm not actually hungry. Actually, I really am. Fine, do you have any food? As a matter of fact, I do have these poison berries. I'm not eating poison berries. She decided to eat them because she didn't want to go back to her life, which sucked to stay previously. Fine. Besides, if we eat them, then we both die and there's no winner, which humiliates the dictator anyway. Yep. This is called foreshadowing, kids. What could go wrong? Stop! You both win! Okay. Works for me. The dictator felt humiliated. How humiliated? And so, Fire Girl and Muffin Man Bright! lived happily ever after until the sequel. <laughs>